Okay, let's go ahead and go and find the next vertices and I'll explain to the audience what you're doing. So go ahead. So Kaylee has opened this work in Adobe Acrobat Reader DC. She has enlarged it. Jaws will also talk at, uh, talk the points, but she has enlarged it enough so she can get all the points. Okay, so she is getting the points off of the graph. Everybody else can see what it actually says up there. And I will read it. She moves very fast. <laughs> Give me a second, Kaylee, to read it. Graph the image of the triangle below using a scale factor of k equals 4. So that's the formula that she's using in order to graph this next image. Go ahead, Kaylee. Hold on. Three. Left hand. Next hand. Zero. One left equals. Left hand. Four. Column. Mm. Column. Four. Zero. Column. Space. Four. Right hand. Left hand. Two. Equals. Left hand eight, comma, space. Right hand, left hand three, equals. Left hand one, two, twelve, one, two, twelve. Right hand. Alt tab, alt tab. Microsoft Excel dashboard one. Microsoft Excel. Blank, A1. Alt tab. Now she just puts out all of her numbers into Excel so she can graph these. Blank, A1. Alt tab. Now she just puts out all of her numbers into Excel so she can graph these. Blank, eight, blank, 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 one, two, twelve, two. 12, alt tab, dilation homework, dash Microsoft, alt tab, Microsoft Excel. Yeah, you need the first <laughs> one. I, I wondered if you were going to get that. <laughs> That's okay. Mistakes are no big deal when you're using technology. Two, blank, 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 three, blank, three, blank, blank, alt tab. In order to get two oh. images, she puts a white space in her Excel. Eight, you'll blank. actually see both images of her shapes come Two, out on 12, her graph. Alt tab, eight, alt tab, twelve. Select. So she selects her Zero. points yeah. and inserts D. the graph. Eight. Straight lines and markers read. Or enter. Leading menu. And every point inserts. Now, yep. if she was completely blind, she could not connect the last two, but she's low vision, so she's going to get rid of her legend so she can make her graph larger. And then she will draw those last points. Oh, yeah. Good girl. Major grid lines. Major grid lines in. Display vertical. Enter. Leading menus. Nice. Up ribbon. Draw. Yep. Page. J. Line grid. Enter. Leading menus. 12. B7. And she has made this uh, graph 180%. So it, it's very, very large. It covers almost her whole screen. So she can actually see it. So low vision kids can make it very large. So she changes the points in the line thickness to match what is already auto inserted. Line read. Enter. Layout tab. To change ribbons, use left or right arrows. To navigate the current ribbon, use tab or shift tab. You're doing great. Just keep it going. Looks like you might have accidentally drawn two, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> but it, see how they meld? We love technology. Technology has learned from you, Kaylee. It knows what you want to do. Okay, beautiful. Escape once, so you just have the graph selected, so you can copy and paste. Okay. Very nice. And let's just show everybody how beautiful your work is today. Yeah, turn to picture so then the lines don't change. Go ahead and yep, up arrow so we can they can see. Yep, oh yeah, beautiful. Up arrow again. So gorgeous, yes. This is what Kaylee has worked on today. And of course, she can work very quickly doing these. Very nice, yeah. Oh my gosh, they're so gorgeous. Page one. Okay, that looks good. Thank you, Kaylee. Beautiful.